Hi, I'm Jason Ryle. Thank you so much to the Toronto Film Critics Association uh, for this award. Uh, I found out earlier in the week and it's still something that I'm processing, um, but it's a beautiful thing to process during this time. Um, I feel like I wanna say so much, but also not entirely sure of what exactly to say. This is the first time I'm winning an award solo as an adult, uh, and it's a really wonderful feeling, but um, I also can't tell you how unbelievably moved I am by your decision. Um, particularly when I look at the past recipients of this award, um, you know, and I'm, I'm honestly astounded that I, I'm standing beside them um, uh, on, on this roster. Uh, Tentu Cardinal, Alanisa Bomswin, Zach Canuck, uh, these people have been icons in our industry, role models to me, incredible friends who have given me support over the years in terms of my career. Uh, so to be recognized with them um, with the same prize uh, is, is both deeply humbling and incredibly, incredibly motivational. Uh, not to mention the likes of Deepa Mehta and Pierce Handling and, and Norman Jewison uh, and of, cor of course Clyde Gilmore uh, himself. Um, my career so far has been somewhat unexpected. Uh, I've had no real master plan in terms of the work that I've done, but I've always hoped that my work in some way has contributed positively to community. Um, the Indigenous community, of course, but also to our larger shared industry. Um, I've been very privileged uh, and happy to have been a part of Imaginative um, and now that I've moved on, looking back is a little easier and, and I can see uh, more clearly the tremendous work and the impact that organization had. Uh, and it was an absolute privilege uh, to lead that organization and to be part of a period of time uh, where so much change happened in our sector. Um, you know, my life was changed by I Imaginative and one of the motivating factors of working there for so many years was that one could see uh, other people's lives being changed positively by the work of Indigenous screen storytellers. Um, and I know this award is an acknowledgement so much of imaginative success, uh, which was a result of so many hands, hearts, and minds that I worked alongside. And I thank all those people from the bottom of my heart. Um, I also really wanna thank my family, they're not always entirely sure what I do for, for work, um, but they know that I love what I do and, and I do. I really love, I really love what I do. Um, and I know my work and my passion has taken me away from my family, uh, but their love, their kindness uh, and support has always given me strength over the years. And I carry that strength and rely on that strength on a daily basis. So in that way, they've always, always been with me and very close. Um, there's been so much change in our sector here in Canada, as you all know, uh, and there's so much more to come. There's so much building that needs to be done. There's so much work that needs to happen. And there are so many stories to tell. Uh, and this is a beautiful, exciting time for us in the industry. And I look forward to hearing many, many more stories by Indigenous filmmakers. Um, and to receive this award, in as much as it's an acknowledgement for past work, um, as I start the next chapters of, of my career as a producer, as an arts manager, uh, as a programmer, uh, this, word is all, this award is also really, really incredibly motivational. And in many ways, I feel like I am just getting started. So thank you again to the Toronto Film Critics Association. Thank you, thank you.